Alright guys, so we're here with Ro uh, Road Rage. Road Rage, wow! <laughs> wow, we're here with Santana. Uh, came in third today at ARG State running Nova Grapplers. Uh, really proud of him. Yeah. My brother did well. Um, any word before we start? None. Uh, what do you think of the event? Yeah, that's it was pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty fun. Better than any locals I've been to. Yeah, it that's, that's like more competition here than anything else. Oh, yeah. This wasn't at the level of locals, but I wish we had a few more people. Yeah. Alright. Right. <laughs> Alright, on to the next profile. Alright, so. Starter, I cannot even pronounce this. One boy, one boy, one ball, whatever. Uh, it's a Ryan Horn clone. When you stand something in the same column, this also stands back up. So he's really good for getting those nice, good columns. Next up, we got four Extreme Battle of Victor. The main card of the deck. Just right over him, you kind of blast one, you stand something uh, up. When you attack, and then he gets plus 5k. So you're giving the pressure on with this card. Really just too good. Next up we run for the promo. Extreme Leader Rayburn. I've only gone into him a little bit. Uh, usually I just try to wait out for uh, Extreme Battle of Victor and then go for it. But he's okay. He's just like a mini break ride, I guess, for stride. So they get plus 5k if, you know, when, when you stride. So... Makes good columns. Force them to have a P guard. We have former extreme battler. I can't even pronounce as well. Zenata, whatever. Yeah, Sendaza. Yeah, Sendaza. So every single time when you stand this card back up, it gets plus IK. So you easily can combo it with with um with Victor, and then Victor can combo it and with. Uh, with the starter. So you want to have this in a column and then you swing, kind of blast one, they stand back up, you keep doing it. And it's really good when you uh, try to. So let's go with that. And then three cool Hank. I really, this was actually hard to get. I didn't even get this card until uh, this morning. But it's a really good card. Uh, you can only use this uh, once during the turn. But Generation Break 1, Counter Blast 1, you can, uh, when this unit is being boosted, you can stand up another unit and give it plus 5k. So it's another time where you can use uh, Senzada, whatever his name is, and you can send him back up, give him plus 5k. So that way he's at plus 10k because his ability gives him plus 5k. And then also you can combo him with Victor again, and then give him another plus 5k. So just three cool hangs. Uh, I tried four, too cloggy, but I don't know. <laughs> three Starlight Hedgehogs. These are combo pieces that work with anything that you can stride, uh, stride over Victor because it's only the turn that you place this. So you can give something else the effect, and that means when it, whenever it stands, you can unflip a damage and then draw a card. This makes it really, really consistent. This makes you draw through your deck more, and it helps like during certain matches. So you can combo this very, very easily. Not even that hard. And then, like, say you can attack for nothing. And then when you attack for nothing, say if uh, one of your strides hit, you can send it back up and then give it plus 5k if anything. So just three of those. Next up, we run two two of the 12k attackers. Uh, this is only uh, this is only when it attacks Vanguard. I mean, I've done this maybe once. I've used it on Rear Guard, but that's about it. I mean, it was either this or play like the 10k Vanillas, but I just like this more because it added a little bit more pressure. Next up, we have one of the uh, P guard just because the X was around, <laughs> and I ran into it in um, what was it? My third mat, my third round when I was undefeated, and um, the X has to hit anything. Period. So with the new PGs, you can't hit, you can't guard for the rear guard. You only guard for the vanguard. So that's why I only played one of him. Next up, we play three Lady Cyclones, which is the PG on flipper for your vanguard. So. You unflip, you get more counter blasts for your victor combos. Next up, we have four of the stride fodder. Basic, simple. Uh, you stride, you want to stride as much as possible with this deck, and you want to keep on the pressure. And he's good target, so you can search for uh, victor. And this three of uh, final wrench. This card is like really, really good when it's boosting behind uh, victor plasma. Because every single time it stands back up, anything that's within this column that stands back up gets also plus 4k. So it's good for Victoplasma, it's good for Sonata, whatever you want to call him. I'm going to call him Sonata. <laughs> but yeah. 
that's pretty much it. And then uh, two Claydol Mechanics. I've only used this card once. Uh, these were gonna be like ten, uh, two AK Vanillas, but then last night I decided to change it to uh, two Claydol Mechanics just so I can get the unflip, so I can have more Counter Blast. And then for the triggers, standard four heals, six crit. I don't even know how to do this. And then six draw. The only thing I would like that's not in this would be the red lightning uh, crits. Like I just completely forgot about them. Where red lightning can just go in the soul and unflip a damage. That's the only thing that I would wish that I can change about this list. But other than that, it works perfect. Do you need them? Huh? Do you need them? No, I already have them. I just I just forget them at home. All right. All right. Next up is for the uh, G zone. G spot. G spot. G spot. Huh? So we got a. Uh, Three Meteor Kaiser Vic 10, where if it hits, uh, if it hits the Vanguard, you can set up another unit and then give it plus 5k. This makes it really, really, really broken with uh, like Starlight Hedgehog, where you can just attack for nothing and then say if it hits, you can get plus 5k, so it becomes a 13k attacker and you send it back up. Then you can just attack again if you want. You can even put triggers on it if you can get it from here. So three of these. I used to play four, but then there's another card in this deck that I want to talk about uh, that came out yesterday that I want to get in. It's Meteor Kaiser uh, Tribune or Tribute. This card, uh, I guess it, can, it saved me in my top eight matchup, where um, it's Counter Blast One. Whenever you stand something, do from an effect. You can Counter Blast One, uh, give one of your rear guards plus two K, and then you retire something equal to the amount that your rear guard has. So if you're standing up, let me see. If you stand back up, Sonata, he gets plus five K. And then he's gonna get plus 2k, so it's 17k. Uh, 5, 2, no, I can't do simple math. 5, 7, 16k. Yeah, 16k. And then you retire anything that's less than 16k, which is like really, really good. So I only use one of him. I don't, I don't see why not more, one more than run. I mean, uh, like if anything, I would just take on Meteor Kaiser, but I mean, this, this is just perfect just for one. Next up, we have the main attacker of the deck, the main end game. Uh, Meteor Kaiser, uh, Victor Plasma, where you can just counter blast two, uh, unflip him from the G zone, and then after you attack, you discard two cards, it loses twin drive, and you stand him back up. So it makes for stupid plays, but you can just uh, counter blast on, uh, use the counter blast for uh, Victor, and then use it for uh, Sonata. So yeah. All right. Any other words? I mean. <laughs> I gotta say congrats to my to my boy Rai. Our boy Rai yeah. will be getting his Our boy Rai, who got his who got his <laughs> for the win. Yeah, who got his invite. Um, I gotta yeah. thank my all, all he was just doing was just inviting for the like I'm not inviting. Wow, mo uh, critting people yeah, all to got, get to top it to, to get the champion. He got his invite and he gave his buddies points. Um, I got some points, so yeah, we'll see us at Nats too. Yeah. And Santana will be at Nats because he'll be I don't skipping know. Pokemon Worlds. Worlds. No, I won't. Uh, I don't know because all of his friends will be at Nats and it's cheaper than Boston Worlds. I want people to put this in the comment right now. Either go to Pokemon Worlds or go to ARG Nationals. Yeah, please leave a I comment. I need to see comments. Please leave a comment. I need to see comments. Alright, thanks guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.